Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multi-step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 5n minus 6n is less than or equal to 8 minus 8n minus n. Okay? Well, first thing I want to do is combine my like terms on each side. So negative 5n minus 6n is a negative 11n, and that's less than or equal to 8 minus, so we have negative 8n minus n is a negative 9n, so we have minus 9n. Now I want to bring my 9n over to the left, so I'm going to add a 9n to both sides. Negative 11n plus 9n is a negative 2n, and that's less than or equal to 8, which is just there on the right. Now I want to divide by a negative 2 to both sides, leaving me with n by itself is less than, oh, not really less than, is it? Right? We've got to flip that inequality. We're dividing by a negative over the inequality. So from the less than or equal to sign, it turns into a greater than or equal to sign. 8 divided by negative 2 is a negative 4. And now we have our answer. n is greater than or equal to a negative 4, so I need to graph it. So graph it here. Put 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Okay? Well, if n can equal a negative 4, we're going to put a closed circle right there at negative 4. And since n is greater than negative 4, also, we put the arrow to the right. And now we have a graph that matches our inequality, which is n is greater than or equal to a negative 4. So let's recap. We're given the negative 5n minus 6n is less than or equal to 8 minus 8n minus n. I combine my like terms on each side, giving me a negative 11n on the right, and 8 minus 9n on the left, uh, sorry, negative 11 on the left, and then 8 minus 9n on the right. I add a 9n to both sides, giving me 8 by itself on the right, and then negative 11n plus 9n is a negative 2n on the left. I then divide by negative 2 to both sides, giving me n by itself on the left, and then a negative 4 on the right. But since I divided by a negative over the inequality, we need to flip that inequality from a less than or equal to sign to a greater than or equal to sign. So now we have n is greater than or equal to negative 4. I need to graph that. So in my graph here, I said, okay, it's a closed circle because n can equal a negative 4. Right? So the closed circle right there at negative 4. And then we put our arrow to the right because we said n is also greater than negative 4. So now we have a graph that matches our final answer, which is n is greater than or equal to a negative 4.